The GoPro Hero 8 Black now has 4K 30 linear. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the vlog. My name is Vic Barry. I work as a creative video director and editor, and on this channel, we talk all things creative and tech. GoPro Hero 8 Black is finally out. Now, before we get into it, if you're thinking, I'm not spending 400 bucks on that brand new GoPro Hero 8 Black, I'm gonna get me that silver or that GoPro Hero 8 White. Forget about it, you're gonna have to spend the big bucks because the GoPro Hero 8 only comes in the black one, it's the high-end one, and what a camera this is. There are no new frame rates here, there is no 4K 120. 4K 120 needs insanely super fast SD cards, it generates a huge amount of heat, so forget about 4K 120, you have got 4K 60, 4K 30, 2.7K, 1080, 240, so you've got all the frame rates that for the best part you are going to need and that you are going to use. That hasn't changed. What has changed though is lots of things, and lots of these things will make you part with your hard-earned cash. Firstly, it's not a game changer for me, but it might be for you if you use your GoPro to take a lot of photographs, then it's got improved HDR, fine. It's now got presets, standard, activity, and cinematic. So the presets basically allow you to tap one and it automatically jumps to a predefined preset like 4K, 30, or 2.7K, or whatever. Fine. It's got Time Warp 2.0, which basically is kind of a motion lapse, time lapse, and when you tap the screen now, it slows down to normal speed, and you tap it again, and it speeds up again. Fine. No big deal. You're like, I'm not spending my 400 bucks on that fic. Nah, I'm not going to do it. Nah, nah, nah. However, there are two things that would make you change your mind. One of them is Hypersmooth 2.0. Check this out from the tech chap who's bouncing on a trampoline with the GoPro Hero 8 7 Black and the GoPro Hero 8 Black. There is a hell of a difference. The stabilization in this is crazy. Just when you thought they couldn't get it any better, it's insane. They all crop in ever so slightly to get insanely good stabilization, but oh my. If the Hypersmooth 2.0 is not enough of a reason for you to part with your hard-earned cash for the GoPro Hero 8 Black, then what about this? Especially if you're a vlogger. Especially, and I'm not talking about the media mods, I'm not talking about the flip up screen. No, 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 I'm talking about something else. If you wanted to shoot 4K video on the GoPro Hero 7 Black or any of the other GoPro videos, and you wanted to vlog, you just wanted to hold the camera up and, and you know, do your vloggy thing. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog, smash like. You want to do that? Either you went down to the lower resolutions because you couldn't have a linear mode, so you had to have that kind of fisheye GoPro look, that distorted kind of wide angle lens look. That's all changed because the GoPro Hero 8 Black now has 4K 30 linear. Uh, probably doesn't mean that much. But no, it, it's a big deal, right? It is a big deal to finally have linear mode in 4K 30. It's a really, really, really big deal if you're making your own videos and you just don't like that GoPro look. And lots of people don't like that GoPro look if they're just kind of doing vloggy stuff. And when you have to unwarp that or undistort it in post, it can be a little bit of a... Uh. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, you no longer need a cage. You just fold out these little foldy legs, connectors, whatever GoPro calls them, which will now attach to all of your other GoPro mounts. Really clever idea, it should have been in the camera a long time ago. They are the big deals, but hang on, hang on. There is one more, there is one more thing. A media mod, a light mod, and a display mod. What the hell is a media mod? The media mod is a kind of a new cage that goes onto the GoPro, it's got a little shotgun mic on the side, it's got a HDMI out, because they've taken the HDMI out, out of the GoPro Hero 8 Black. It's now built into this media mod, and most importantly, it's also got a mic socket in. Epic! This media mod has two cold shoe mounts as well, and it connects to your GoPro. Fine. 80 bucks. <laughs> so you're up to 480. Now the other two mods are a display mod, which is a flip-up screen with a rechargeable battery that does need the media mod to work. So if you buy the display mod, you have to get the media mod. So you're up to 160 bucks plus 400 for the camera, so that's 560 bucks. My mats are on fire. Then the other one is the light mod. Great naming. Uh, the light mod is a little bit cheaper and the light mod will give you six hours up to 200 lumens brightness which is pretty good and it's rechargeable battery it doesn't need the media mod to work so you only have to pay for one and it works and attaches to all the other gopro mounts if you're thinking to yourself do i buy this gopro hero 8 black vic or do I go and buy the GoPro Hero 7 Black? The GoPro Hero 7 Black is now nearly 100 bucks cheaper 
and if you hang around a couple of weeks it'll probably come down a little bit more and black friday is not too far away GoPro Hero 7 Black is an insanely good camera. Check out my videos on it. I'll leave a link in the description. It's phenomenal. It's got hyper smooth 1.0, which is crazy good. For me, the linear mode in 4K 30 is a huge big deal. The idea that you now no longer need a big dongle to hang off your GoPro to plug in a mic is fine. The fact that you have to pay 80 bucks to get the media mod to do that, it's a, it's a bit of a kicker. But once you rig it up, you've got this really portable small rig. And then 4K 30 linear, I mean, that is really a no brainer. This is one of the best cameras that is out there right now for the price point, for the stabilization. It is insane. DJI, the ball is now well and truly in your court. If you're a DJI fan, you're not gonna see a Nosmo action for uh, until next year. However, if there's a Nosmo Pocket 2 coming, that was released last November, not long after the GoPro Hero 7 Black arrived. So the next couple of weeks might tell a lot. But for me, the GoPro Hero 8 Black is, is a must purchase. GoPro are a fantastic brand. They genuinely are. They're one of my favorite brands. I love what they've done. They have created the action cam niche, the action cam genre. They're an incredible brand. You don't just go into a shop and go, hi, I want an action camera. In your worst ever Irish, oh, Irish accent. You will say, they'll go, what? You will go, I want a camera like a GoPro. And then people know exactly what the hell you're on about. GoPro Hero 8 Black, it's got that crazy stabilization, Hypersmooth 2.0. It's got this medium mod stuff, which is fine. I get it, it's a bit pricey. I mean, you're looking at nearly the bare bones of 600 bucks to get it all in, ready to go. It's a bit of a kicker. But for me, that Hypersmooth 2.0 and that 4K 30 linear, that's more than enough reason to buy this camera. You don't need the media mod or the display mod or the light mod off the bat. You can accessorize and buy. And no doubt in time to come, there will be other third party efforts of, of displays and all this other kind of stuff if GoPro haven't made that mount proprietary. There are kind of no real downsides to it. The lens isn't as replaceable as it was. I would think the likes of Polar Pro and Ulanzi will indeed have mounts and mods and lens adapters and all kinds of stuff to protect the lens and do more with it like that's existing for the other gopro lines at the moment but yeah it's a pretty big deal for me gopro hero at black when it does come out towards the end of october absolute must purchase for me i would have loved to have got my hands on one of these to play around with a gopro are you ever watching this <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to pick one up uh, and I think I'll get the display mod and whatever in time to come. So GoPro Hero at Black must purchase for me, but for you though, for you, think about it. Think about what you want to do. And here's the most important thing. It doesn't matter if you have the money to buy a red camera. If you've got like 30, 30K to spend on a camera, I'm so happy for you. If all you've got is 400 bucks to spend on a GoPro, I'm so happy for you. Keep this in mind, and this is the most important thing. Yes, this is a GoPro video, but this is a bit more general. If you are making content, whether it's for YouTube, whether it's for the kids, whether it's just memories, whatever, it's not the camera that tells the story. It's the camera is the tool that allows you to tell your story. So it don't matter what GoPro you have, it don't matter what camera you have, it's all gonna be crap unless your story and what you're putting in there is actually good. My name is Vic Barry. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your time. If you found this video useful, if you liked it, I would, we're heading to 5,000 subscribers, which just blows my mind. I'd really appreciate it if you would click subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode of the vlog. Until then, don't stop fighting for yourself.